Hello everyone, I'm Sir Derpy Creeper and welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. It's a weekly podcast where I basically talk about some problems in your life that you may have or things you might deal with and better solutions to get them through. I'm a YouTube personality and a uh, Twitch streamer, mainly Twitch streamer now, but I basically bring up things in your life that you may be struggling with or just uh, problems in your life that you just may be going through and... I come up with ideas to hopefully make yourself a whiz out of making wise decisions and to steam them up and make them even better. I'd like to start off this episode real quick by giving a few updates. Uh, If you couldn't tell already by the majestic button below the astronaut for the people who are watching video wise or stream wise, we are now on Spotify and I think that's really cool. I still have to upload things on Spotify, but we're going to be on Spotify and SoundCloud and that's super cool to me. So we're growing our, we're growing our branches basically. Like our tree's got a few new branches on it and I think that's really cool. So uh, you can expect it on Spotify. I'll include the links in the description and on Twitch, I'll try to find a way to have panels to link over to Spotify and the SoundCloud. And so basically, I want to clarify, right now I'm not paying for SoundCloud, so I don't know how it's going to work yet, but apparently you only have a limited amount of space if you're using it for free on SoundCloud. So uh, the Wisdom Wednesdays right now are only at window. I can bump it up to worry in a couple more of them, but like it says 180 minute limit. So basically, I can't really go fully further until I pay for it some more. So I'm going to probably pay for it for one thing, catch my Wisdom Wednesdays up, and we'll see how the future goes with that. And uh, I want to say that the reason I'm using SoundCloud as well added to it is because Spotify requires an RSS feed. I'm talking techie. Uh, please, please, please. Uh, pl- if you don't understand the techie stuff, that's okay. But it requires something like that, which SoundCloud provides. So I, uh, I put them together and now I'm both on SoundCloud and Spotify. So heck yeah, homies. So go check them out if you can. That'll be really cool to grow those as well. And uh, let's get into our recap. So uh, if you missed last week's, last week's was about winning. For an example and uh i talk about being too competitive and that's the thing listen it's okay to be a little bit competitive there's nothing wrong with that and as long as it's a healthy kind of competition healthy kind of competitiveness i don't know the actual word of competitive and you know what i mean so basically uh, I, I talk about a wide variety of things. There's there's plenty of things to get competitive over. I, I kind of jumped it down into three different reasons or three different scenarios of competitive that I think are major and should be pointed out and hopefully improve someone is, but that's, uh, that's leadership. It's a teamwork, basically, or sportsmanship, and it's validation. And I, I'll do a little bit of each is that, you know, people try to find validation in their skill sets and that's the wrong place to find your validation and because they think they're going to win and then when they win, they're validated. Or it's in a leadership problem where two leaders butt heads or it's a sportsmanship problem where you're toxic to other people that are that you're against. They can be video games or it could be sports. So I highly recommend checking that out. That'll be really cool if you can. Uh, I, I kind of touch on the toxic mindset as well and the competitive mindset. So. I think it's a good uh, eye-opener for people who struggle in that field. And so I hope you enjoy this next segment. So I want to talk about perspective. Now, this is a thing that I feel is everybody has one. And it's true. Listen, I have my own perspective. You have your own perspective, no matter who you are. Everybody has their own perspective. Not only that, everybody has their own mind. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to kind of talk about your perspective and your mind and what they kind of can do and what you can do with them in a way. And there's both good and bad for this. Uh, I want to say, first of all, is perspective. Your perspective is almost, I would say, your view on life in a way. So therefore, you know, it's kind of the way you see things. So you see things differently than I see things and that's okay listen that's the beauty in our diversity I'll say is that you know we're all different in some way and so our mindset is also different in some way as well our minds are different so we perceive things differently than other people do whether it becomes from your upbringing in life maybe you had a bad home maybe you had bad experiences happen to you maybe you had great experiences happen to you and great things happen to you both paths can ultimately intertwine with each other and then also you know separate people's views and it's possible i want to say your perspective really can like ultimately change 
your way of life. And I'll, I'll give a few perspectives as it is like just kind of the three general ideas of perspectivity or perspectivity. I don't, I don't know that word either. I'm not very, uh, illiterate, illiterate, wait, I'm not very literate. All right. Let's just, just say, <laughs> uh, but, um, so basically there's three personalities, I think of perspective and you know, there's probably other things as well, but these are kind of the things that everybody knows about, which is one, I like to see myself as an optimist. So I have the optimist kind of perspective on life. But there's also pessimistic, which is kind of that negative kind of uh, outlook on life. Optimist is the positive outlook on life in a way. And it's kind of like seeing the good in everything. And then pessimistic is kind of like seeing the bad in everything. And then there's the realist, which is the, you know, you kind of, you can, you're kind of in between. You're like, you're not too optimistic because you, you kind of understand your own limitations and capabilities in a way. And you're not, you're not seeing the too much of negative. So I want to talk about that and, you know, kind of touch on it. Me being an optimist, for example, I used to be a pessimist uh, with a pessimistic mindset. And so I used to have this mindset of, oh, man, dude, everything just sucks. And I would always look at the bad in everything instead of looking at the good. And so when I started to look through the optimist mindset, I started to ultimately change like who I was as a person. And I had a bigger heart from it as well. I'm not saying it's going to be the case for everybody. Don't get me wrong. But I will say in my personal opinion, having a pessimistic mindset ultimately will drag you down. And it's not like I'm, I'm not trying to hate on anybody with that because, you know, we're all human. All right. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, having your own mindset. Uh, it depends on if you how much you let it affect you, though. So if you're having a mindset of, oh, I'm going to see the bad in everything, then yes, you're going to take yourself down further. Now, it's okay to see the bad in some things, you know, to point some things out on people. There's nothing wrong with that. So if you got a friend who has some bad qualities that need to be addressed, there's nothing wrong with seeing the bad in that and then addressing that. That doesn't mean you're necessarily pessimistic, but it's okay to see things in that kind of aspect. So I want to say that, and, and, and don't get me wrong, on the realist part as well, you can be a realist and still have an optimistic or a pessimistic kind of view. You can be like a leaning kind of one, you know. And uh, as personally, I'm not a realist, so I, I always believe there's always some other possibility. And there's okay, you know, listen, you have your own way of thinking, and that's fine. I personally, from my experience of being a pessimistic person, though, my perspective on life really warped my view. And so my perspective on life was dark when I was younger in middle school or high school as well. Uh, kind of beginning of high school, I would think that, oh man, dude, this isn't even worth it. I was just bleh, you know. Uh, but when I started changing to the optimistic version of life, I just, I felt more alive. And that, that's why I feel like there's a big difference between optimistic and pessimistic is that most of the time, if you do have an ultimate pessimistic view, you kind of end up hurting yourself in, inside your heart. And I'm not trying to call anyone out for this or anything like that, because I get it. You know, a lot of people have pessimistic mindsets. And, you know, honestly, I can't control, none of us can control our upbringings in life. Some of us are privileged in life to where we grew up in a good home or a good family or a better family than some. And honestly, that's a great thing. And honestly, I feel p sorry for anyone who has to grow up in a home that's not like that. And here's the reason why I say, depending on even if you are in these two se different situations of good family, bad family, they can still intertwine. So, uh, for example, if you have a bad family, your perspective on life can ultimately help you change. So if you're going to keep the same perspective of the bad family that you had, uh, then you're going to keep following in their footsteps. But you can also use that bad family that you had to change who you are as a person and become a better person that they weren't. And so that, that depends on your perspective, though. Your perspective can ultimately change anything. Here's the thing I want to talk about perspective. Uh, it's, it's like a scenario. So I heard a story of there was an abusive father. All right. And he had two kids basically. And so he was abusive and, uh, was rude to his wife. He, he, he scared his kids a lot and all that stuff. Basically, you know, a, a very bad situation. And so, um, one kid grows up to be a great person, goes out there and doesn't do anything like that to his wife, but the other kid does. And so you can see that they're the same kids that grew up in the same household, but they end up becoming different people. It's your perspective on life can ultimately guide you to the path that you're going to take or not. So if you want to end up being that person that hurts your wife and scares your kids, your perspective can lead you there. Your situations don't define who you are. It depends on what you see through your life 
and what you are that brings you to that place. These two kids grew up in the same exact home, but they have lived, they're living two completely different lives. That's because one had a perspective of, I'm not going to be like this. I'm going to be better than that. And then the other person or the other kid decided to go down the path that his, his father took. Your perspective ultimately chooses where you go. Now, I'm not saying a pessimistic mindset led him there. I'm not saying an optimistic mindset led, it, led someone else there. Because they can still have a pessimistic mindset, but refuse to act the way the, the, their father acted. You have the capability of choosing your own path. Your perspective can really take you to where you're going. Now, I want to talk about a thing about perspective on parents and kids mainly. I feel like this is a, where a big divide happens, especially like now this generation, I'll say. I don't know if the gen, I'm, I'm a part of Gen Z, so I'm, I'm still kind of young. So I'm like, 20, I just turned 22, like about a week or two ago. And so basically, you know, I, I had a, uh, I have a gen, we have, well, let's just say anyone at my age, I'll say has this generational gap between parents and their kids because of the fact that, you know, your, your parents most likely grew up in a different time than you. So therefore their perspective is ultimately changed compared to yours so your perspective is ultimately different and so a lot of parents these days feel like uh, their perspective is always the right one and they stay locked in their generation and the thing is is here's the thing if you get locked in your generation you're ultimately going to be your own downfall because of your perspective on stuff you you can't sit there and expect everything to be the exact same way you were living in 20 years later for me, example, I'm 22. 20 years, 20 years later, I can guarantee you we're probably going to have flying cars and crazy crud. I don't know what we're going to have in 20 years, but it isn't going to be the same as what we had now. I have this mentality of, you know, I know things are going to be different. And I got to be accepting of whoever is down the road who has a different generation. Yes, I have to be accepting of the Fortnite kids. I understand. Listen, it's not a fun thing. All right. Sometimes it's not fun. But hey, listen, be accepting, be loving. You know, honestly, I guarantee you. Listen, as much as Fortnite kids sometimes are cringy sometimes, they're still human beings. Or kids in general. A, pro a lot of problems with parents these days is they think that their perspective on life is always the right one, and it's not. And I've mentioned this a thousand times, and I'll mention it in another Wisdom Wednesday if I have to. I learned this from my pastor, or from, from the top pastor, not my pastor. But the top pastor, when he came over to visit to our church at one point, he had said this. He said... Your idea is not always the right idea because there are 7 billion other people in the world. So your perspective may not always be the right perspective. All right. That's why you need to keep an open perspective. Widen your perspective because you, you sit there and you probably think, oh, well, my way of living is the right way of living and it's no one else. And I was like, Dude, don't have that. Don't have that perspective. You need to have an open perspective of, all right, listen, anything can happen in life. And that's true. Listen, I personally think, and this is my opinion. I love the optimist mindset, all right? As someone who was a pessimist, who turned into an optimist, I love it because here's the thing. I'm always expecting new possibilities. I'm excited for what's to come. The PC I'm building, I'm building a PC, by the way. I'm excited to see how that gets built. It's already mainly built. Well, it's not built, but I have all these parts together for it, and I am super excited because anything can happen, and this is the anything that can happen that I've always wanted for. Your perspective can ultimately help you or break you. If you widen your perspective and open your eyes more, just listen. You'll be able to see more to life. Your view on life is not always the right one. Mine sometimes isn't always the right one either. That's why learning is a thing. You have to learn. Learning is the best way to deal with this kind of stuff. And I want to talk about the second section is this, your mind. Listen, this is a problem a lot of people had. I've had it myself, all right? Having an open and closed mindset. How do you feel when someone has a very big different opinion than yours? Do you get angry because they have a different opinion than yours? Or are you accepting and saying, all right, you know what? You have a good opinion or you have an opinion I don't agree with, but I respect it. A lot of people these days... They don't even have to be an opinion mainly, but most of the time it's an opinion. Are very closed-minded. I used to be closed-minded myself, especially when I started off being a Christian. I thought, man, I thought my parents were devil-infested and stuff just because they swore. 
Like, that was screwed up. I even told my family that. I said, listen, you guys are devil infested when I was a kid. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I was a kid, but here's the thing. I had the wrong perspective. And my, don't get me wrong. My church was not telling me this, this kind of perspective. I saw that perspective myself because I let that happen to me. I was the one that made myself have that perspective on life because I felt like I wasn't accepted or something like that. I don't know. I was a kid. I was a brat. But that's the thing. See, as a kid, I had this bad perspective. I had a, I had a closed mindset of everyone here is devil infested because they swear. And that's not the case. And listen, it's okay to have a differencing opinion. A lot of people have this problem where it's like, especially when it comes to politics. I'm not going to go deep into politics, but I'll say a little bit of it is like, you know, uh, depending on a presidential idea, for example, especially with what last election, 2016 election, bro, everybody was at each other's throats, man. I, you should have seen Facebook, guys. I'm going to be honest with you, dude. Facebook was a freaking war zone. I sat there looking. I was like, what the crap is going on? Like over two presidents. You know, if this world was a more accepting of opinions, we would be happier people. But now, now today we are like super divided because Instead of widening our minds and widening our perspectives, we're making it narrow. We're making it so thin that you can't even tell. You know, I hear a lot of a, a lot of this, and you know, I feel like this is a good place to pretty much uh, mention this. Is that you know, I hear this from a lot of my friends a lot. Is that you know, the line but be between light and dark is so very thin. When you have a closed mindset, that's how your mindset is most of the time. Now, don't get me wrong. Not saying that me saying that uh, in general that the the line between d light and dark is very thin makes you have a closed mindset. There's nothing like that. I mean, as in, if you have a closed mindset and you see someone have a differencing opinion on the other side of that wall, you automatically think that they're an evil person or something. There's nothing wrong with having a different opinion. You have to open your mind. Listen, if you're closed minded and think you're always right, you're not. You are not. And I mean this in a way of like, you know, I care, all right? I genuinely care because I, as a person who's went and dealt with this kind of stuff, I have sat there and I have been like, you know what? No one understands or, or you know, none of these people understand. They aren't even worth talking to. They aren't even worth understanding or trying to talk to. And that's not, that's not right. You need to keep your mind open because if it keeps being closed, you're going to close out other people. Now, I'm not saying you have to accept every kind of notion or idea that goes your way. Because here's the thing. Some people come up with some very bad ideas. And, you know, you're still open-minded about it. But give constructive criticism. That's one of the best things about life is that, you know, if you can give constructive criticism, you will be able to help change the world. Don't be destructive. A lot of people have this destructive mindset of like, all right, listen, you did this thing wrong. You're bad. It's like, bro, why? Show people what they do wrong in a good and open-minded way. If you stay closed-minded, you are ultimately ruining yourself. An open mind brings peace. It really does. As a person who has had a super closed-minded mindset, I had a big closed mindset. I was like, man, dude, nobody understands me. I'm a Christian. All right, see, no one around here is a Christian, so I am a... I, I, I think I was higher than everybody else, pretty much. Not in, not in the aspect of like you know I, I am I am a narcissist, but in the aspect of listen, I'm a Christian. No one understands or cares, or I should I, I don't care what other people think if they're not a Christian, and that's not right. People have good feedback to for you. People have good insight for you. Don't let your views or your mind block you out from these kinds of things. That's why you need to have an open mindset. When I started opening my mind more and being more accepting of people who didn't really agree with me, because I got caught up in a lot of politics, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Politics will ruin your mindset. It'll ruin your perspective. You need to really watch out for that because if you get too engulfed into the politics, especially if it's a biased politics, you're going to ultimately like rip yourself apart and be like, you won't be understanding towards other people who have a different view than you. I personally think that if you do watch anything that's like political, stay in the center. Stay in the center because if you go too far off, you're going to lose your mind. All right. I mean, how many of you have seen crazy people who are on the right or the left do something completely stupid or completely unsmart on the Internet? I guarantee you everybody has seen it. All right. Don't be one of these kinds of people. All right. Be a person that's like respectable of other people's opinions. Now, now don't now don't like 
be accepting of like people's behavior when it comes to them being psycho bonkers. All right, D don't be like, yo, listen, all right, it's okay to be psycho bonkers in public. You know, th that's not okay. But be accepting of other people, especially if they're having a calm conversation with you. Now, I think that's the best way, in my opinion, to have a political or at least just talking to somebody. Calm conversation and just say, saying, hey, and then know when the point is, you know, to agree to disagree. Because here's the thing. Not everybody's going to have the same mindset as you. So some people are stronghold and, you know, they have good feelings about their opinion or their idea. And then some people have, you know, the same way with another idea and opinion. At that point, you realize you guys aren't going to change your opinion. So that's where you have to say, I agree to disagree. There's nothing wrong with agreeing to disagree. You can't change everybody's mindset. Man, I have this problem where I want to change everybody's mindset. All right. I want. I think everyone's going to change. And here's the thing I learned pretty easily. All right. And this is just how I feel as a Christian. Even people didn't like Jesus himself. Why should I care? what everyone else thinks or what how to change everybody if even people in the past didn't even like jesus himself i mean we're talking like a guy who can heal and the holy the the holy the you know the the, the good wholesome boy of the whole entire world man people didn't want to listen to him or people didn't have respect for him there's always going to be somebody out there who doesn't listen there's always going to be somebody out there with a non-widened perspective or mindset don't be like that. Widen your perspective. There's nothing wrong with widening your perspective. Now I want to give a little bit of a recap on what I pretty much talked about. This is gonna. This is a short one, by the way, homies. But uh, I just felt like you know this is a kind of a thing that it's short, but it's a thing that people need to understand. So I want to talk about listen. Your, your mind, your perspective is a view, your view of life, all right? Your perspective can be wrong. I had a wrong perspective plenty of times in my life, and honestly, I'm actively learning. And here's the thing that I feel like ultimately trumps everything and is like great when it comes to your perspective or mindset, and that is learning. You need to be learned. Learned. I don't know, man. Don't don't hate me, but you need to learn. That's the best way to really improve and be a happier person. I used to not be a learner. I used to be just a do whatever. And when I started just learning and learning life and just learning who I wanted to be, learning just to improve who I am, constantly learning to improve my skill set, everything like that, it felt great. Not only that, it was great for me because it all it makes me feel like I'm getting higher and higher. My heart gets higher and higher, and that's a good thing. And that's that's a thing I want for everybody is, you know, I want your hearts to be higher and higher. But you need to learn. You can't just assume you're right all the time. Being a pessimist, pessimist may be okay, but here's the thing. If you constantly look at the negative, you're going to get the negative. That's just how it is. Your perspective ultimately changes how your life is. I know I didn't mention this earlier, but we're going to mention it now anyway. All right, listen, we winged half of these anyway, so we're going to talk more about it. But the reason bad things probably keep happening to you is because you keep constantly seeing the bad. That's why things are happening to you like this. You know, when I started seeing things for the better, better things started happening to me. As a person who went through a negative mindset before, who always had negative happen to him, and go into a positive attitude, more great things and great good things have happened to me. So please take from my experience on this and just, just try an optimistic point of view. Now, you don't have to. It's, it's perfectly fine for you, but I feel like you'll be a lot happier doing that. Once you see the good in everything, the good comes to you more. Once you see the bad and everything, the bad starts coming to you more. It's like your heart's a magnet, all right? If you've got a negative heart, you're going to magnetize all this negative stuff to you. If you've got a positive heart, you're going to magnetize all the positive things to you. Now, don't get me wrong. Both still can attract in some way. So some sometime you might run into something positive when you're negative. Sometimes you might run into something negative when you're positive. But ultimately, your perspective really makes your heart happy. 
if you're in an optimistic point of view. If you're in a negative point of view, you're going to attract the negative around you. And personally, I feel like that's bad for your heart. You can stay in that mindset all you want, and that's fine. But I feel like personally, it's bad for your heart. From my personal experience, I prefer to be an optimist after realizing that I'm way happier and a better person than I used to be living in that optimistic point of view. Now, you can still be a realist. There's nothing wrong with being a realist. Sometimes people need some realists to bring people back down to earth or lift them up, you know. And sometimes we need some realists. There's nothing wrong with that. Parents. Because I know parents have this problem, but kids can have this problem too. Don't let your perspective blind you from being in a good relationship with your kid or your parent. Because if you do, you're going to get this generational split between you both. And that's not good. You don't need that. Because here's the thing. A relationship and a family relationship, you need to be able to talk to each other and be comfortable to each other. Accept some honest things. Here's the thing. Your kid can literally tell you if you're doing something wrong. There's nothing. Just because of there's an age difference or... Um, if, if you've been alive longer for some reason or have more experience in something, it doesn't mean you're always right. Your kid can tell you what you're doing wrong, and so can your parent tell you what you're doing wrong. Your perspective. Fix it. Open it. Listen. Open it to these other generations that are coming out. Listen. You're not going to sit there in your generation and... Expect it to just to stay the same the all the the entire time because it's not it will not stay the same no matter how, how hard you try your generation will not stay the same the next 20 years because it ultimately changed we are people we're trendsetters all right we constantly change respect that kind of change being open and closed-minded be open-minded don't be closed-minded. Don't cl don't stop. Don't block anybody's opinions out of your head just because you don't agree with them. If it's to the point where you both won't change your opinion, agree to disagree. There's nothing wrong with agreeing to disagreeing. I'm friends with many people, by the way, who aren't Christian, by the way, and have different opinions on life. There's nothing wrong with that. I have way more people that are, uh, what do you call it, that have a very different opinion on life than do in my life when it comes to Christianity. I have more non-Christian friends than Christian friends, which there's nothing wrong with that. I love Christian friends, but I'm just telling you, it, you don't have to, you don't have to block people out just because they have a different view on life than you do or a different mindset. Last thing I want to say about an open mindset is, yeah, it'll bring you peace. Listen, as a person who had a closed mindset turning into an open mindset, I have so much more peace and happiness about it. I'm not letting my feelings get in the way. And that's another thing too. Don't let your feelings get in the way of your perspective or your mindset. Your feelings can ultimately d diminish the real view that you need to see. Your feelings can block you from what you need to be doing. They can. I've had it happen to me plenty of times where my feelings would constantly keep me from doing something that I knew was best for me. Or that I know it's a good mentality or not. Or a good view on life. Because my feelings would block it. Righteous anger is a good example. I was so engulfed with righteous anger a couple of weeks ago. Because I had seen a creator basically use people as a stepping stool. And then act like they weren't you know, there anymore. Like they weren't friends with these people that they used as a stepping stool. And that made me so angry. But it blocked my view of love. Or a loving perspective. And... You gotta watch out. You can't you can't be an angry person and then expect to love somebody the next second ever or the next second later. Another thing I'd like to ask, and this is more of on the Christian side of things for maybe struggling Christians in the aspect is of is your perspective of God keeping you from being the person that you're supposed to be through God? I feel like I'm talking to somebody, uh, more of a struggling Christian or, or somebody who just has their own perspective of God and they're letting it stop them from being who they could truly be or a better person through their heart. A thing I saw on Instagram, and I'd like to share this, and I think it's a really cool thing because it opened my eyes some, and I, it was just it was a few simple words. It was on a, like a blank background, a few simple words, and it was this. 
I want God, not my idea of God. And I was like, wow, like my mind was busted. I was like, what in the world? Like I was, I didn't think of that. I was like, man, you know, maybe so much, so many of us have this, this idea of God, but not really God. And so we just have this idea of God in our head instead of striving to want God for who God is in our minds. We're like, oh, this is just my idea of God. And this is just how I feel God will be like. And I feel like that could, that idea of God could stop you from fulfilling your full on heart or fulfilling that destiny you have in life or that life that God wants to give you because your idea of him is not him. I'm not sure if I'm talking to somebody or not with this, but I feel like I am. And I, and I actually thought about this on the way home and I was like, wow. Is your idea of God keeping you from being the person that you're meant to be? You may be looking at God at the wrong angle. And yes, I do believe there's different perspectives of God that you can have that can really throw you out of the way of what God truly wants for you or what God really has in store for you or what you're supposed to do with your life because you're letting yourself and that idea of God prevent you from doing what God actually is trying to call you to do. Just like how we all have different perspectives, there are people with different perspectives of God. Your perspective and mindset are very crucial into the life that you want to live. They are. They can ultimately drive you to being a great person or being a bad person. And you may be interchanging as well. That's an emotional roller coaster, man. I think you should just stick and pick with one. My personal one you should stick with is an open perspective, a widened one. Why not? And here's the thing. Listen, I know you're human. I'm human too. It's not going to, it's usually never easy, especially if you've had a closed mindset or closed perspective on life. You are ultimately going to have a very hard time depending on how long you've been in that perspective. You're going to have to drive yourself out of it. For me, what opened my eyes and helped me become a better person and just widened my perspective was God. It, he showed me love. And that's what I, that's what I, this really changed my life. I, I went from a dark person and I was like, man, you know what? No, I don't care. I don't care about anybody. All right. And I had a dark perspective on Christianity due to the fact that I had lived in a dark perspective on life for a while as a kid. But once I started changing and becoming a better person, I realized my perspective was wrong. And you maybe have to realize yourself, your perspective is wrong sometimes. Be open-minded. Widen your perspective and widen your mindset. I hope you all enjoyed that segment. The segment was a little short. It was shorter than the, the other ones I do. It's less than 40 minutes. So personally, I find that short now since everything's been going over 40 minutes now. But I want to say thank you guys for listening to it. And please listen. If you have any feedback, anything like that uh, uh, whatsoever, I would love to hear it. Any, preferably constructive criticism, please. Uh, uh, destructive doesn't work very well, like I mentioned before. But, you know, I'll, I'll still pick the good and the bad situations. And that's a good mindset. So start doing that. Uh, I feel like a lot of people don't realize that their perspectives and mindsets need to be widened. And you can change. Listen, there's nothing wrong with changing. But I hope you enjoyed it. And I feel like a lot of people have had that problem. But I want to say, I've got Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And uh, it's at, all of them are at Sir Derpy Creeper. And I've got Twitch and YouTube. And so basically on YouTube, I post my segments on there that I uh, live stream on Twitch as well. But I post my segments on here if anyone misses them or anything like that. It's on YouTube. So hopefully you can check them out. YouTube is my currently updated one of the most of them all. So please check out YouTube if you can. And Twitch is where I, I live stream the same exact video or audio, but at, at the end of it, we kind of conversate with chat or converse with chat about, you know, maybe I was wrong in some certain aspects or maybe uh, they have some extra things to add to it. And I think those are great. I have great conversations. Last week, I had a great one about winning and it was so awesome. I was talking constantly, man. And I love talking constantly. That's just how I am. 
those are the kinds of things that that i do on twitch and i, I highly recommend y'all check out my twitch channel by the way uh recently in my discord server by the way i also have a discord server um i integrated it with twitch and i was super happy about it it was so awesome my homie dixie dude uh what do you call it i was like nah i don't think i've got it and she said you know what i think you should check it so i was like all right i'll go check it and i checked it i was like oh, it's here so i was pretty happy about it but i, I, I was happy uh and another thing now i want to say we are now on spotify and soundcloud so please go check it out on spotify and soundcloud if you can i will try and see if i can put more on soundcloud because uh, the when i put it on soundcloud it's going to come up on spotify so i don't know how everything's gonna go yet with that yet but right now i have worth and window they're both on spotify right now if you'd like to go check them out i'm still trying to work out some things like design wise because for some reason my profile picture is on uh <laughs> uh it, it my profile picture is wisdom wins it's not a wisdom wednesday profile picture so i'm trying to figure that situation out and i just hope you guys can check them out on there that'd be really cool and this Sunday, I will be hopefully recording with our special guest that will be either, most likely it'll be next week, called Wandering. So be out, be on the lookout for that. Listen, I'm going to be warning you right now, this is going to be more of a godly conversation next week. So if it makes you uncomfortable, I completely understand, just letting you know. But uh, I feel like, you know, this guy from church that I've been talking to for a while, he's one of my homies from church. He's a wise guy, all right? Not like a wise guy as in sarcasm, but like, He's a wise person, all right, and I, I, you know, I want to share another perspective on life or in the certain situations than just my own because it shows you guys that, hey, listen, I'm not just, like, being biased or anything. I want someone else to share their thoughts as well, so hopefully you can check that out next week, and that would be really cool if you can. If it's not next week, it'll definitely be the week after as long as things, you know, permit. I hope this was able to make a whiz out of you making wise decisions and to steam them up and make them even better. Widen your perspective. Open your mind. Please. You'll become a happier person widening your perspective and widening your mindset. Until next Wisdom Wednesday, have a great rest of the week.